Hey everybody, XEI here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Here we have Joshua Coyote Shepard on the Normandy. And the first thing we're going to do is hit the Citadel. Um, I want to be able to uh, get some fish. <clears throat> I mean, check with Anderson and the council and stuff like that. Mostly get some fish. So let's get, let, I, and I just want to see. I just want to see if something new opens up. I feel like we've passed a certain point. Um, at, oh, no, that, that clip was right. So, uh, was already seen. You didn't mention it being called Act 2 or anything like that, but I presume that uh, when you get the next set of dossiers, it's kind of like an Act 2. I don't know if it measures out into those, into equal, well, I mean, Dragon Age 2 didn't really measure in equal portions, but I figure you would assess something in the comments if there was like an Act 2, Act 3 sort of thing. Maybe there's four acts. They're going to break the mold. I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a new part of the game. Citadel. What? what I mean, I want to take him just because I could take him for a walk. <laughs> take him for a walk. Uh, Garrus, I'll take you. Garrus back to Anderson. You know what? I will take. I will take you and you. See what happens. Accept. Oh, and I get two. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we have we have Krogan Berserker, Hells, and yes, Grunt's Blood Rage increases his health and weapon damage and gives him Krogan Health Regeneration. Plus 20, purchase re and, and weapon damage. I'm totally okay with that, but let's just keep escalating this. Please. And then what do we get at this one? Evolves Krogan Berserker into one of the following options. Krogan Pure Blood increases Grunt's Regeneration Capabilities. Allowing to heal, allow, allowing to heal himself more quickly, and Krogan Warlord increases Grunt's weapon damage. I think I'm going to go with pure tank. I mean, regen is my gut feeling right here. So we have we have 50% health, 55 points per second. I mean, he probably still gets regen here too. Yeah. So I mean, for all intents and purposes, weapon damage goes up by another 10%. So it's weapon damage versus regen. I'm going to go pure blood. I'm going to go with regen. I'm going to go pure tank. Because I, I have like, I have uh, Zaid for weapon damage. And I, you know, so yeah, if I ever need it. So, uh, uh, Jacob, I suppose. And then, concussive shot. Sure. Recharge, sure. And then, uh, I'm going to go incendiary ammo. I think that sort, wait, why didn't this one turn on? Oh, loyalty. Right. Let's go incendiary. Um, what does this one do? Oh, this one opens up. Do they all open? Oh, they all. I don't I, I thought it was for some reason. I thought it was only going to be this because like this is more like the class benefit versus um, versus a. I don't know what I thought to be honest. I guess each of them gives you. Yep, that's pretty cool. Okay, so in any case, let's let's see. Do I want significantly more power? Probably significantly more. I mean, I want this one. I need loyalty though. I'm just gonna go incendiary too. There we go. And then let's check Garrus. You got three points. Let's go with concussive shot to max with Garrus instead of overload. Because I, I can do this with Shepard, I think. I'm going to go with Concussive. So I, I, I like the idea of pairing up with Garrus. I just I like the, the fact that he comes from Mass Effect 1. That Crawl Marauder is already there. He looks badass. So I and two snipers I know is kind of redundant. But I, I do like him on the team. So I'm going to go with Concussive Shot. He's going to be more of the, like the killer killer. Um, and I'll, I'll try to deal with the other stuff. If I remember how to fight properly, am I right? Okay. Let's, I think Shepard was fine. If he's not, we'll deal with it l next time. Maybe this just turns into a quick leveling, a quick leveling and fish grab assignment. Has to be done. Okay, guys, let's go. Um, the attack on the human sure. colony of freedom's progress has no. generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir. It's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. Yeah, it's proceeding is just to talk to him. You know, let's talk to Anderson. Let's show this. Talk Anderson. We got Garrus. So maybe something new will be said. Something I can do for you, Shepard? How's it been, bud? How have the last couple of years treated you? 
Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? I believe I've already... Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across you? the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Yeah, I feel like that's redundant. Okay, damage on the Citadel remains of the Sovereign War of the Geth. Caden on her... That's new. Caden Olenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. It's, it's fair. It's fair that he did, though. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. Don't be jackass, Kyle. What if the elusive man was manipulated? <clears throat> I'm with you, Lying dude. to you. The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the Collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Alanko didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are of behind this. Of course not. Or even that they exist. I better go. Okay. My door is always open. Quick little, um, just talk there. Let's move on. Uh, this what passes for food out here. My tastes run more along the lines of edible. Looks like worms. Dead ones. This a human thing? Ugh, I'll pass. I'll eat almost anything. But I stress almost. He wasn't speaking like a, a, a normal... You know what I mean? Like, he, like who was speaking right now? That it wasn't a chef. Never it, had ramen. It's a delicacy. Back that's on the Earth. chef. I think the Hanar, but he wasn't doing. He wasn't describing his feelings while doing it. The colony of Mindwar has won the right to use Commander Shepard's likeness on its colonial seal. The commander's family was killed in a slaver attack. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Okay. I trust you, Michael. What medical upgrades do you want to get for him? I don't know. Maybe we should ask random people on the street what they think. <laughs> I'm getting the Immuna booster. And a drink. It's Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1 thing. It's a scuffle. Then I sort of come along and just tell them what to do with their life. It's great. Okay, so I do need to check this again because... There were things I was missing. I do want to get the medical upgrade. I am going to buy this right now because now I have this a lot is more valuable. money. Now, I might start losing more. I got 200k. I do have to be careful. You guys are making me very scared about... What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high help again? environments. What if that hurts him? No. Not this time? Okay, I'll be back to help. The nerve when enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. You sure? Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Do, do you need, need a word from me? Hey, I'm wearing different... Wait, what? I didn't know this arm was like this and this one was like this. Did I Did I know that? Okay, whatever. Let's just go. I just... He's my Jessica. baby. He's Jessica. He's all I have left of Jacob. I know. Say... I just want to protect him. I know. I'm not being well, he's, irrational, he's Michael. A way nicer I know. guy now. I think he's. Oh, Jessica, keep the the cake. Phew. Let's see what's in this store here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. It, okay, so tech damage and damage protection. Squad bonus: twenty percent to shields and barriers and armor. Thirty percent tech powers. I mean, I want both. Oof. That right there is 150. Eh. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, now we got 50. Let's go. Let's pretend. Let's just pretend we didn't spend that money. The wreckage of the freighter Tur Alan oh, was found on an uncolonized planet in the Dranic system. Salvage teams reported no survivors. 
Oh, the shipping warehouse. Let's go back in. Because nothing happened when we came Look, in here. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. That's a sketch conversation. I've ever heard one. It's probably mundane. Nothing's mundane in this game. Okay, so is there still nothing here? No? Nope. I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. Ugh. Eh, maybe it is just random. Next door. The cafe, huh? Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister if you have it. I like that I've already bought everything out of that. Don't mix your spice corral. Shop, and I don't have to go back. That's good. Interrogation. This dude right here. Sure, why not? Yes. Uh, anything new from what you're saying? No. Goodbye, I should then. be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Uh, sure. A fishy, 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 I'm fishy. I'm Commander fi Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Fishy, 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 fishy. <gasps> Three fish. Ooh, and a new model of the Sovereign. Yeah. Buy the Sovereign ship. <laughs> yeah. We have an Ilium Skull. Is this where I got the two fish? I feel like I got fish from... I'm going to check them again. The guys outside. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Where did I get the second fish from? Two here? Did I? Oh, I didn't have these. These are new, I think. Well, let's get the Ilium fish. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just going to forget to feed them again. Come on, Kelly. I was told, I was told you'd feed my fish. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Okay. All I'm saying is what am I missing? Will help me remember the happy times we've shared There's even a new after thing. Okay, let me Fine. just. Whatever, I don't care anymore. You ruined the citadel for me. Fish, it is. This is depressing. How about we find a tourie and beat the crap out of <laughs> That always makes you feel better. I love that line. It's so horrible. Omni oh, Omni tools. Operations on the Salahiel system have been cleared. Operations had previously been halted after Geth activity in the area. Is this the last store? I'm Commander Shepard, please. And this is my favorite store. They're on the all my favorite stores. Oh God! I should have checked everything first. Well, I, I. Oh my God! Well, I want the sniper one for sure, and then I'm done. <sighs> Heavy pistol. Oh, this one for that. Oh. Doesn't matter. Let's go. I do have to come back here. I do have to come back here. I need. I. I need a hundred k. I still say we should join the Blue Suns. No. They'll probably pay for our equipment. They probably only hire you if you look like you can fight. So we need something to start with. Right. Like the shotgun. Oh, is the shotgun? Is that the last door, man? Because... You got any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. <laughs> I love it. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic. And what's but this it's again? Fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Oh, the club. I'm still looking for sh stores. Uh, stores. I just need to make. Did I not notice this the first time? There's a restaurant in here. <gasps> Paladin. Have I not? Yeah, I, I almost punched you in the face. I got angry enough, but then uh, my vision ended and I. Didn't end up punching in the face. I think all the stores are done, unless I am missing something. But I think I've done all the levels now. Why are you treating me like a criminal? Because you tried to bring a 15 centimeter serrated blade on a public shuttle. That's good. Let's go. Let's go take care of some research and fish. Put our fish in the fish tank. 
drink my water. Oh. Which is amazing right now. There's this like new Jim Beam whiskey bourbon thing that I, I found that's apple. Well, so it's not really like a bourbon, it's more like a shooter barter, but but mm. it's like juice coke. It's like flavored coke. Except it makes you drunk. Okay, let's go to the research first. Sniper, please. Did this one review sniper headshot damage uh, when I can actually aim for a head but 50 oh so this is like well, okay well, that's fine it's mostly where I aim 50% headshot damage this bonus affects the entire squad Normandy scientists have prototyped the modification to the traditional smart targeting module commonly incorporated to high end weaponry while this technology is normally used to compensate for wind and recoil it was adapted to slightly deflect rounds to strike a more vital part of the enemy's head Booyah and booyah. Okay, that's one. I got tons of, um, well, that's element zero, but redundant field generator. Shields for everybody sounds like a good idea. I think I can afford everything, but now I'm <laughs> super, super cautious. Um, Omni tool, well, yeah, yes, because when I take the other characters that do use a lot more of the abilities than I do, then they them cooling down fast it would be good uh, next thing would be shielding I suppose that's got I can do tons of that and then we have and then we have the last one which is redundant field generate I should have read the last one but sometimes when shepherd shields go down they are instantly fully restored to a shepherd kinetic barriers have improved the survival rate of individual soldiers against modern weapons but attempts to reinforce failing shields with backups have traditionally failed due to in interference. This area has remained a an active topic of research for Cerberus and a prototype redundant field generator has been created with the proper investment. This could be miniaturized for personal use. Tons of that stuff. To, like tons. I should stop picking that stuff up. I need to start recording down the elements. I should not be hunting down anymore. I shouldn't be harvesting unless I need it. So I don't have to buy those additional probes. I might be overloaded. Actually, I don't remember the one I missed. It might have been this one. Unity restores squad member shields to full strength. And then I got the one that sometimes does the shepherd one. I thought I just read. And outside of that, I thought I picked up the med gel capacity. But I didn't see that pop up. So I might be missing something or forgetting something. First aid interface, micro Yeah, we have the vitals. And then we have redundant field generator when the shields go down. They are instantly fully restored. Mm hmm. Oh, and then it was a tech cooldown. Most Omni tools are tuned to have an effective lifespan of 10 years or more for precision work and up to 54 more general tasks. Disabling most safety protocols and installing an experimental power core improves efficiency but reduces the expected operating lifespan by a factor of 20. Okay, we have a lot of new things, but maybe I do need to calm the hell down. Let's go to the fish. Yeah, I got probably got codexes to read and stuff, but let's let that load. Kelly, do I have any new messages? Nope. Okay. There you are. Yeah. Are you get some food? There. <laughs> oh, sovereign, sovereign. Oh, yeah. Was it fake or was it fake? See if they can make a model of it. Then it means it's not fake, dumbasses. It means it's real. Oh, hey, Hammy. I said, hey, Hammy. Thank you. Okay, with that, I'm going to get up here on the bridge and check uh, journal real quick. Right, I wanted to read the dossiers. Let's read the, let's read the dossiers now. So we have Tally. Go to planet Haystrom in the Geth controlled Dolan system. We have the Justicar. Wait, let's click on this first. Well, let's click on Tally first. The expert in combat tech, systems hacking, strong engineering background, familiar with Normandy. Formerly listed as Talzora Nar Naraya, the Quarian engineer earned her adult name after helping Shepard defeat Saren two years ago. Tally is currently on a classified assignment for the Migrant Fleet Admiralty Board on Haystrom, deep in Geth control space. So she's back with her people because of that. I think I let her keep something that she then took back to the um, to her, yeah to the ship. 
<laughs> so her pilgrimage would be over. Then we have ja uh, Justicar Samara, biotic strength near that of an Asari matriarch. Extensive weapons training. I mean, we already have a crazy psych psych um, uh, psychic person, so sort of seems or sort of feels redundant because we have Jack, but Samara is a Justicar, a rare member of an Asari monastic group trained in enhanced combat biotics. Alongside standard weapons, Samara was recently sighted on Ilium outside normal Asari space. This is also reminding me of this Asari that I let survive. It was an Asari assassin. What are they called? Asari commandos, right? Asari commandos. Am I making that up? Anyways, there was one that I that came out of Th Thor Thorian. I forget oh, these names are all mashing up in my head. The the one that was part of the Thorian the, that colony, uh, and then we let that person go is that is that was her name Samara anyway so we have the assassin Thane Cryos we have quick kill bio, biotic specialist another biotic what the hell expert sniper Thane Cryos is a drell oh the drell did we encounter drells were there was it was there another race on here we have we had the other ones Drell trained from childhood as an elite assassin, proficient in both long-range sniping kills and close infiltration. He has slowed his activities in recent years, but is rumored to have a target on Ilium. Okay. We have the prodigal. Uh, estranged father. Uh, Miranda's estranged father is trying to take back her sister, Oriana. Miranda needs to go to Ilium to get her sister off-world safely. Travel Ilium. In the Tessail system located in the Crescent Nebula and speak with Miranda's contact, Lintea, in the Eternity Lounge. Nothing goes wrong in lounges. That's like the bar of Mass Effect. It's like the tavern. Uh, we have Jacob, the gift of greatness. Ten years ago, Jacob's father disappeared along with Hugo Gernsback, the privately held frigate on which he served as first officer. Last week, the ship's beacon sent out a distress call reporting a crash on the planet Aea. Jacob would like to investigate, and we will. Located in the Rosetta Nebula, and then we have the Stop the Collector. Cerberus has determined that an alien race called the Collectors is attacking human colonies. They are assembling a team to stop this threat to humanity. I'm trying. Assemble the team. We have three more dossiers we've got to get through. We will. Let's get through our codexes. We have in the early 2160s, not the Batarians, excuse me, the coming Elcor, through Sovereign. Myth, oh, because we have about the myth, ship, we get the Sovereign. The flagship of the rogue ex-spectre, Saren Arterius. Sovereign is a devastating dreadnought of unprecedented power. At two kilometers long, Sovereign was believed to have been powered by a gigantic element zero core, the only energy source potent enough to land the massive vessel on a planet. During the Eden Prime War, the ship unleashed its peerless destructive force against which Citadel Council ships were defenseless. With a virtually indestructible flagship and a crew of fanatic Geth and Krogan, Saren nearly succeeded in wiping out all his enemies. Only the resourcefulness and bravery of the commander and crew of the SSV Normandy stopped him. The overwhelming power of Sovereign ignited bizarre speculation in tabloid media that the vessel was sent by extragalactic invaders, or was, despite indeterminate photographic evidence at best, a single giant robot. Some sources even claimed that Sovereign was alive. Such conjecture, however baseless, remains to this day. Right, I was gonna, I was, that's gonna say up here. So they, basically, it's not that it was a thing from the Reapers or of Reaper or whatever the Reaper, but it's that it was a ship. It was a ship that was sent to attack, and and Saren was in control of it somehow, and so it's just, just getting pawned off as a ship. Okay, so we're done with this, and then secondary, we're gonna have a lot of jargony entries here, probably. No, I thought all of those items that you. You get enhancements to become entries, but I guess not. Okay then, um, I need to pick somewhere to go. I don't, I don't know where to go. Okay, um, hmm, recruit tally. My, my gut. Where's the Miranda one? The hell? Ilya, I guess, right? Recruit the. There's a lot of stuff at Alium. 
Do I go and immediately recruit Tally? My gut, my, 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 because I want, I want her back on the team. I want another one of the originals back on the team. But another part of me is like, I feel like I need to start increasing some loyalties. Um, and then this looks like uh, I need to start an episode here because I feel like that's but that's probably on each there's like different planets going on there I'm gonna go for tally sorry for that long-winded I, I knew I was I, this was it was hot it was I'm gonna take precedence I don't know why I didn't just Save this one. I was going to go right from the start. Save time. I'm going to replan it. So let's go. Let's skip that one right there. Let's enter orbit. We have Tarum. What's the starship refueling station for the Quarians? Tarum has expanded under Geth rule. Thousands of orbital platforms surround the planet and its many moons, refining helium to helium 3. A vast Geth fleet comes and goes between Tarum and Hastrum. Uh, preventing all but the most stealthy of spy drones from discovering any information about it. Current estimates place the Geth fleet numbers between 5,000 and 10,000 ships with unknown levels of armaments. Travel advisory. Most intelligence, uh, intelligent estimates state that approaching Tarum is tantamount to, tantamount to suicide. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Not for me, especially when I go scan for stuff. Okay, I'm going to start skipping a lot of the uh, palladium I think it is I just have over 200k of that one um, I'm gonna skip a lot of them except for element zero to be honest I, I need to get some money back first and make some decisions smarter decisions and you guys are warning me I really should need to heed <laughs> said warnings okay inner planet here we have Gotha a dwarf planet, Gotha has a pressure cooker atmosphere that brings its surface temperature to a scorching level. Carbon dioxide and ethane are plentiful in the planet's hazy atmosphere. There has been some speculation in the mining community about whether all of the precious metals were mined by the Quarians before they fled the system some three centuries ago. Rumors abound that anyone who could brave the geth in the system could find loads of naturally occurring diamond in, on Gotha, but this is likely just a starship legend. Travel advisory, Gotha is in Geth space, all civilian traffic is prohibited. Rich. Element zero. So as you can see, so you can see palladium. I'll just explain it now because I, I made this decision, decision on the last planet. I got two, over 200k on iridium and palladium. I'm going to take a break there. I'm probably going to skip uh, uh, platinum unless it's like a huge spike. And element zero, I'm going to try to just keep getting more of because I feel like it's it's very rare so there you go there's your update I can't believe I'm gonna walk away on a rich planet sort of hurts me but no it's element zero or nothing at this point I'm gonna move on the last oops the last one haste room right here Ooh. formerly Aquarian colony haste room was established to observe the phenomena on Dolan the system's planet star, parent star. Dolan appeared to be unstable, with a high possibility of erupting prematurely into a red giant. Haystrom was lost to the Geth in 1896 CE, soon after all communication from the planet and its attendant space station ceased. The Geth have shown no signs of treating Dolan as a threat over the past three centuries, other than establishing several space stations near it. Dolan's magnetic eruptions and solar output overwhelm most communications near it, and it is unclear how the Geth have compensated. Today's spy probe scans indicate extensive orbital construction around Haystrom, housing thousands of Geth platforms and an unknown number of Geth software mines. It is not known how many Geths are on the planet's surface. Spy probes face Interve interference from Dalen making remote scanning difficult. Resource estimations based on geth mining, refining, and fabricating practices suggest that the planet has at least 20 more years of use before it is exhausted. Intelligence experts speculate that the geth have not exploited all of their resources because they wish to keep some in reserve for repairs. Travel advisory Hastrum is a Geth stronghold. Military spy drone using cutting edge stealth technology are the only vehicles that have returned unharmed from Geth space. All civilian traffic is prohibited. Well, then, land. And um, I, I really need to <laughs> not get. Watch, watch this turn into a one hour dragon. I might have to break this into two parts if I'm forced to keep going. Garrus. 
Um, Farquharian and Geth. My gut tells me Kasumi. I think Morden. I have a feeling I might take Morden to a lot of these because there's always this. There's always the chance that something could be researched or studied, or it could be, you know. I don't, it's not like I have a tech tech special. I mean, he is my tech specialist. He's my gene ther specialist. He's my. <laughs> it's like it's like sci like yeah equipment science genes, whatever Morden, Morden. It's not it. So. Uh, Garrus for tech. Uh, I guess I could I could screw around with Grunt. I mean, I don't know who else I could take. I, I mean, Kasumi could, to turn off, like to do overloads. I don't think she has overload, but she likes she she has she has to have um, flashbang grenades. Okay. Oh, overloads not. I didn't get it for her yet. And then we have him, which is just to tank. Tank. Let's go see what it's like. It'd be like the old days. My the first time I played ME one, it was with Rex and Garrus almost the entire way through. Hey, those beetles were on a different planet. Does someone use a magnifying glass or is the sun that hot? I'm for killing Geth, man. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. Oh. That's what that little clip was all about. Well, that was fun. I mean, it wasn't fun. It was horribly. That's terrifying. But it's it's a cool little detail. I love that you drop onto these planets and they look different, man. Like, oh, it makes it feel so much just more unique. Codex. Planets and locations. Freedom's Here's progress. Come Before the Geth Revolt 300 years ago, the Quarians colonized Hastrum to study the mysterious instability of its sun, which threatened premature eruption into a red giant. As a scientific outpost of minimal military value, Hastrum was ill-equipped to repel Geth forces during the insurrection and fell quickly under their control. Captured Geth planetary survey data indicates that despite sustaining damage during the war, Hastrum's architecture remains as it was 300 years ago preserving a Quarian architectural style that no longer exists anywhere else in the galaxy. Because Hastrum's sun has overwhelmed the planet's protective magnetosphere, humans foolhardy enough to venture into Geth-controlled Hastrum must exercise extreme caution. Minutes of radiation exposure will overload shields, and That's hours nuts. of exposure will kill. Furthermore, solar That's output cool renders surface-to-orbit communication nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. Okay, and nothing in here. Oh, why did I feel? Oh, maybe it was journal updates. Tally. Look for tally. Search through the ruins for tally, but stay out of the sunlight and avoid get attacks. Avoid. Hopefully, you mean destroy them. And no assignments, huh? Okay. Do I end this here? Yeah, I'm gonna end this here, um, and and continue fresh on this planet, just so that we can move things along. That was my bad. That scared myself. Anyways. Okay, just pick your... Fine, let's pick our weapon first and then let's sign off. Okay, you guys happy? There we go. Alright, everybody. Don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire. Catch you on next time. Peace.